Yo, what's going on guys? So a few days ago, they added this new sector to the battle pass for this new SMG, but that's not what's important today. What is important though, is this new aftermarket part, the Jack BFB. I don't know who Jack is or why he keeps making aftermarket parts, but it is what it is. Now, what's cool about this attachment right here is the fact that it takes away recoil. Yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Go loud. This compensator borders on excessive, but offers a phenomenal reduction to recoil. It says reduction but if we go over to the stats it actually takes away 60 percent of the recoil if you play this game enough you'll understand why this may be a problem most guns already don't have much recoil so you put this on it and now it's a complete laser beat so today we are going to test this attachment on the weapon with the most amount of recoil but also the weapon with the least amount of recoil just to see how pinpoint accurate we can really get one. Oh yeah and drop a like and subscribe we're on that road to 500k do it okay so apparently this swarm build is the most amount of recoil that you can have in this game it's got no stock on it it's got a grip that takes away recoil control as well so let's see how this looks first of all that line is insane <laughs> but now let's whack on the jack bfb thank you very much for killing me brother so now we've got the muzzle on let's see how it looks with the recoil control now bear in mind i'm not touching the analog stick I think that's a little bit better <laughs> i mean it's all right like so i'm gonna try and start out the first half of this game without the muzzle just to see because yeah shooting at the wall is one thing but actually trying to use it in gunfights tells another story so let's see what we can get up to with the most amount of recoil possible in this game <laughs> oh my okay close range it's not bad oh my goodness that kick flip man Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's not right. These are easy kills that I should be getting, but the recoil is throwing me all the way off. Come on, bro. No. This kind of just shows how important class setups are because this is actually one of the most broken weapons in the game. People use this all the time, but it's only a specific class setup that is good. The base weapon by itself might be one of the worst. Bro, bro. I can't, bro. I cannot do anything. I cannot. <laughs> Yo, what? I have to get so close to them for this to even... Oh, and then I run into a shotgun. This is only viable at the extremely close ranges. Bro, I just got stunned twice. Okay, maybe I just have to adjust to the recoil pattern. Is that what it is? Bro, nah. Nope. Get me in here. <laughs> oh! Oh, what the flip? There's nothing I could... Can I shoot? I can shoot now. <laughs> what was that? Get me across. Does this guy know I'm... He does. Oh, we actually got him. You're lucky I was close. Well, you're unlucky, actually. <laughs> Someone round here. It's so rare that you end up round here. Wow. Okay, I'm getting used to it a little bit now. Wait, the odd... No, 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 no. I didn't know that's how it looks around there. Okay, we've got the muzzle on now. Time to see how much of a difference it really makes on the most recoil. Don't worry, we still got to try it out on the most accurate weapon in the game. So that's going to be interesting. Wow, it already makes a huge difference. I'm just hoping that visually you guys are able to see the difference that it makes rather than just me saying it. But this is clearly way more accurate. I don't know. It's just much easier to control. So the actual attachment it... Oh, see, look. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get that kill beforehand. So the actual attachment itself takes away 60% of the recoil. Do you know how crazy that is? That's over half of the recoil, bro. Well, duh. So if a weapon's hardly got any recoil, it's going to be so weird to use it with 60% less. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we're bringing this back. What the? Come on, boys. We got this. You ain't getting me. Come on. Bro, see, yeah, so much more controllable. What the flip is this? Bro, what was I supposed to do there? They've just got an Overwatch helo as well. No shot, they bring this back. Can I call mine in? We literally need my Overwatch helo to go crazy right now. They are bringing this back. I can climb up here. I actually... Come on, boys. What? No! No! Wait, I can't see. We need to get to the next one. This is crazy. That was clutch. 
I was flipping clutch. Come on! That's one thing, but before we test it on a weapon that has the least amount of recoil possible, there are downsides to this muzzle. So this muzzle adds increased radar detection. So when you shoot on the map, you don't just show up as a red dot. You actually show up as an advanced UAV arrow. So it points in the direction that you're shooting in or looking at. We do not care. And here is the weapon with the least amount of recoil. Apparently the SVA has the least amount of recoil in this game. And we've also got the new muzzle on it. So let's just see how accurate this thing is. Bear in mind, I'm not touching the analog stick. So this is going to be interesting. Yo, that's without me controlling it. But when I do, it hardly moves. Nah, that's ridiculous. Damn. I wonder why they decided to add such an attachment. It's interesting because I'm not sure if the downsides are actually that strong. Think about it. I know you show up on the radar as an advanced UAV, but uh, you're not beating me even on that head glitch. I'm sorry. He doesn't know what type of weapon I've got. <laughs> Your direction doesn't really matter if you're already shooting. And also... One downside of the advanced UAV ping is the fact that you cannot tell what level the person's on. So usually with the regular dot, if you're on the same level, it will just be a dot. If they're below you, it'll be pointing downwards. Oh, why did they? Yo, what? you can see the level that they are on with the regular dot. However, you're not beating me at this range, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you. Oh, this is so fun. But yeah, the advanced UAV one doesn't tell you the level that someone's on. So it can also be a little bit more confusing as well. Man, I'm actually really enjoying challenging these guys at certain ranges that I would never do beforehand. It's also got such little recoil to the point where you kind of try to control it and it messes you up. Have you guys ever been so used to having to control recoil to the point where any touch on the analog stick actually throws you off? Oh man, this is beautiful. I can just mindlessly aim down a lane and just beam someone. Look at that. This is it's not fair. I feel like I've got some sort of specialist weapon. I've only got 15 bullets as well. What is this? No, you're not beating me, brother. What do they not understand? Not happening. Oh, oh, where did you come from? Listen to me. I have never felt so confident challenging people. Not at close range, clearly, <laughs> but at longer ranges in my life. And the thing is, this is usable on any gun. I played ranked play the other day. You guys may have seen the video already. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I was running into people using this on the MCW and they were just beaming with it. And in ranked play, everything happens so fast. It doesn't matter if you're showing up on the radar as an advanced UAV. It doesn't matter at all. Come through, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, bro, it's not working, even if you've got a sniper. So with this being added, a lot of people are complaining, saying that this is the worst attachment they ever could have added. People are saying they've added a Cronus attachment, which is hilarious, by the way. I don't know. I think this is the whole point of the aftermarket parts. I think the aftermarket parts are supposed to be goofy and are supposed to be weird and broken, you know? That's what the operator mods did in Black Ops 4, and we all love those. So I genuinely don't see the problem with it. If anything, I want more stuff like this. I think it adds so much fun to the game and switches it up completely. If anything, this attachment makes more guns usable in the game because a lot of these weapons anyway hardly have any recoil to start off with. So you actually don't have to use this attachment in order to get no recoil. You really don't. But there are weapons that definitely need that extra bit of help that this will 100% make viable. Oh my goodness. Mm. So for me, I think that's a great idea. I don't know how anyone can hate on this. Now, should it be available in ranked? I don't know about all of that. Maybe it shouldn't be usable in ranked, but for actual public matches or war zone, why not? All right, we're climbing to the top, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. It's rare that I climb these ladders. Are we going to make it all the way? Oh, we did as well. No way. Nope, not today. This is where we can put the range to the test. Oh my. Not missing bullets from this high up is crazy. <laughs> Yo, even while stunned? 
Yeah, nah. This should have... Yo, I was just saying how I don't mind it, but this is hilarious. <laughs> Everybody's playing. No one wants to look this high up. I'll have to deal with someone that has no recoil. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, we just got the Overwatch Hilo too. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd still be in the game if I was them. Advise UAV. Yo, this is disgusting. Oh, he tried it. Oh, <laughs> let's get this down. <laughs> oh, man, these guys hate me so much. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, these guys want me out of here. So flipping bad. Oh. Oh, the name bounced off. <laughs> they know I'm on a streak too, but they don't know I've hardly got any ammo. So there's no point in going for me. Yo! Oh, I know those guys. Look at them. <laughs> Look, he was still going for me. I'm not there anymore, brother. He's still going up. <laughs> they have to hate me. I won't lie, though. That's some of the most fun I've had in this game. If I was up there from the start of the game, I would have dropped a nuke. Oh, we actually just got this fully mastered as well. <laughs> Think about how annoying that must have been. I was showing up on their minimap as an advanced UAV, and there was nothing they could do about it. Anyway, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. I had a bunch of fun. This new no recoil attachment might be one of the best things they've added into the game, and not for the reason that you guys just saw, but to make certain weapons usable. There's weapons that just have too much recoil and it's like, why would I ever use that? Now you can with this attachment. So I really hope they keep adding cool stuff like that. I think the aftermarket parts are one of the best things that this game has come up with. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of the support you guys have been showing lately. You guys have been going crazy and I'll see you guys in the next one.